The AMD Ryzen is a very high performance model in its own right, with 8 cores capable of running 16 compute threads simultaneously. However, every processor has a little bit of hidden power, we can help you squeeze every last megahertz out of your Ryzen processor. Before overclocking Ryzen, it is important to understand its boost frequency and how to check it. To do this, use programs like Prime or Signbench to load the processor. Also install a monitoring application like Pew as Home Monitor or Command Center. Evaluate the boost frequency and required voltage and check the cooling system. The maximum safe temperature for Ryzen 7 is 85 degrees. When overclocking, it is recommended to have a 20 to 30 degree margin in normal operation mode. Restart the computer and enter BIOS by pressing Dell during boot. After opening the BIOS interface, find the PU ratio parameter on the OCK tab, which is responsible for the PU frequency multiplier. Since we are focusing on 4 and 2 DES change its value from auto to 42. In most cases, a medium level of compensation is sufficient for everyday computer operation. Therefore, change the value from auto to mode 3 or 4. A good starting point is 1.35 hundredths B, but this is not a magic number. A more modest value can be used if desired. Before exciting the BIOS interface, you will see information about all the changes you have made. Read it carefully to make sure you have not made any mistakes. If the computer does not boot or is unstable, return to BIOS. If the operating system has booted successfully, run a stress test such as Prime or Intelbrin test to detect instability. When you are completely satisfied with the stability of your overclocked computer, go back to the BIOS again. Go to the UK page, and under PU features find the AMD Cool and Quiet option. Like and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.